in this video i'll introduce to you um, a new saas proc <coughs> uh, it's proc cat mode it's a very versatile uh, saas uh, procedure you can do uh, so many things by using this uh, saas proc uh, but this saas proc specializes in uh, one of the kind of modeling uh, wherein you have uh, uh, the uh, categorical uh, independent variables uh, imagine a situation where in a regression equation all your independent variables are categorical in nature or in a logistic regression you have a categorical independent variables so instead of using proc logistic or proc reg uh, you should go in for uh, proc cat mod uh, the kind of um, estimation that the proc cat mod, cat mod uh, does is the uh, weighted uh, linear uh, sorry weighted uh, least square method so um, <clears throat> that takes care of the categorical independent variables better than the uh, uh, you know the maximum likelihood method so uh, <clears throat> i'll take you to the saas uh, website wherein uh, the different type of analysis uh, that you can do using procat mode uh, it's listed out you can do linear model analysis where you have uh, you know uh, dependent variables and then independent variables all in categorical form and you want to know how the impact uh, you know of the independent on the dependent ones so uh, you can do that using the uh, weighted least squares method uh, using prop cat mode you can do log, log linear uh, model analysis with uh, multiple dependent variables logistic regression uh, if you have categorical uh, independent variables that also you can do using prop cat mode and then repeated measure analysis uh, is, is something that uh, takes care of uh, multiple dependent variables and uh, you know the same variable is measured at three different times so the time factor can be taken into consideration in the model so that also can be done in proc uh, cat mode analysis of variance also can be done for comparison of the mean um, <clears throat> and then uh, simple linear regression having categorical uh, independent variables uh, can also be done uh, using uh, proc cat mode um, and then any ordinal data that we have uh, you know one of the good way of modeling instead of using the you know the conventional sas procs like proc reg or proc logistic it's always good to use uh, proc cat mode i'll show you one example of that uh, you can of course go through the sas manuals for uh, a number of examples uh, you know listed out there uh, and and there is different type of problems that you can actually uh, uh, solve using proc cat mode I, i'll i'll just give one example so uh, the example is like this uh, there is a deter detergent company and it has got two products so um, the two products are x and m and we want to know that uh, you know the chances of somebody liking uh, product m okay so the hypothesis is that uh, the uh, chances of liking of a product depends on uh, the softness uh, the whether uh, you know somebody has used it um, uh, somebody has used it uh, you know previously or not and the temperature there are two types of temperature low and high softness has got uh, you know three types uh, soft medium and then hard you know that's related to the water that somebody is using for washing and then uh, we have got uh, the dependent variable as the brand okay and uh, we have the corresponding count so remember uh, you know as an input we can uh, give the raw data or we can just give the uh, count of you know each one of these categories uh, in our data set so there are two ways of you know uh, declaring your inputs in a proc cat mode so uh, the data looks like this when you uh, see it in the sas data sets you have soft and brand x and then previous uh, whether yes or no and then um, temperature high or low and the corresponding count of that so in this category how many numbers of people or you know have been surveyed so uh, <clears throat> that goes as a uh, you know this data set goes as a uh, input to the model and uh, so uh, let us see how we can use proc uh, you know cat mode to do the analysis 
uh, we can of course do the simple ANOVA analysis by using uh, this and then uh, we can uh, you know, do the uh, you know estimate the model, model parameters using the weighted least square by uh, using the syntax pro cat mode data input data set and then response it should be 1 and 0 so uh, it's a binary uh, response variable weight so weight is nothing but the count here so uh, total number of people surveyed in each categories and then the model you have brand as the dependent variable uh, in the ANOVA statement you can uh, just uh, use a bar so uh, instead of a space but in the model statement use the space in between the independent variables so uh, first run this and you will see uh, an output having Uh, so the details about the population profile and the uh, corresponding sample sizes for each one of the profile and the response uh, variable uh, we have got one uh, response variable uh, having values m and x and all we want to know is that the probability or the chances of somebody using you know the product m so the, the, the observation of interest is product m here and the response frequencies with respect to uh, the samples we have got 12 samples uh, based on the categories and the you know the corresponding response numbers um, <coughs> and the response probability response probability is nothing but only uh, simply the you know division of that 30 by 42 so response 1 is m 2 is x so what we are interested in is 1 and there are 30 in the uh, sample 1 and 42 in this uh, response to so the percentage is 30 by 42 so that is nothing but 41 percent and similarly the other percentage yes so when you uh, run the first part of the code you will get the uh, ANOVA uh, the analysis of variance and if you run the total uh, entire uh, part of the code you don't need to mention here pro cat mode again because it's interactive in nature so once you run this you can directly use you know run uh, this statement without having to use uh, proc cat mode so uh, <coughs> the uh, most important thing in the result is uh, the weighted less square uh, estimates uh, that you will see at the very end uh, where you will have intercept and then you will have the corresponding estimates uh, for each one of the uh, independent variables uh, the chi-square values, uh, p-values, um, you can you can you can uh, just look at them for the significance of the estimate um, and the corresponding 95% confidence level for each one of the estimates. So the explanation of the estimates remain same as uh, logistic or uh, prop regression. Uh, just that uh, we need to remember here that uh, the variables are categorical in nature. So an appropriate explanation uh, should be made uh, so that's one of the use of procat mode